Well, if you think old, uh, old world crafts when we're such guys, look at this vent. I mean, this guy's got this thing that the, uh, ooh, four inch diameter uh, duct work supposed to get in. He cuts a hole through up there and the son of a bitch misses by about half of it, right? I mean, good shot, dude, right? I mean, you go now. We're going to have to re-engineer that. The west, yeah, the west wall is now totally demoed in here. And uh, we already got some good ideas for what we're going to do over in that area now. We got a lot, we've opened up a lot of space for the bathroom now. So, oh, let's finish, uh, do, the, uh, do the real fine cleanup later. We're just getting the uh, rough pieces here and building up a uh, big pile outside. And I'll show you later. You wouldn't think such a small place would have so much uh, debris but uh, this thing is just loaded with stuff so we're going full force it's time now to hit the little south wall and I think uh, probably next weekend when we go to remove the uh, shower surround you'll see a lot more probably a lot more of that black mold because uh, water intrusion was probably definitely a problem the old lady bought this house in 56 and once her husband died in 76 she never did a bit of maintenance to this place so you know Hello! Huh? Alright, I'm gonna get ready to start on that wall now, okay? We be in. Hands are starting to lock up. Okay, the south wall is done. We're gonna clean up a lot of the uh, smaller stuff later. Just get it attacked. It's time to move on to the, uh, to the west wall here. It's gonna be a little more complicated. We want to be careful uh, here. I don't want to bust any plumbing out or anything like that. So be cutting around the uh, toilet and stuff like that. We're not going to pull any fixtures out this uh, this weekend. We're going to uh, drop back after we get this done and then we're going to do so a little bit of planning and figuring so next weekend we can uh, we can hit it again and do any structure work at the tub out, get the surround, start uh, addressing the plumbing and some of the other issues. Plumbing's back here, so it's going to get a lot more. Demolition rows anyway. Yeah, I'm sweating like a pig for sure today, guys. Woo! But uh, demoing is one of those things you got to just bite the bullet and get it done. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real shit storm when you're doing it. Here's something interesting, and this shows you the genius that somebody was thinking right. In the old days, when they would wire outlets, you can see this uh, copper wire going in, and uh, it's actually going to the back of this outlet here. And they would ground each of the uh, outlets with uh, copper wire brought along by that. Now, can you imagine who the genius was that says, hey, instead of having the uh, copper like this having to manually, uh, you know, route out and bore out holes and things to, to put it through, why don't we just carry the copper ground right in the cable with it? So there the... Uh, the uh, three-wire ground was born, so just one of those amazing things that somebody says, geez, this just sucks pulling this copper wire ground along everywhere. Why don't we just enc encapsulate it right inside of the uh, wiring there? And uh, that's a, that was a, a stroke of genius. This is not live. I've got, you can see the yellow I've been using. That's on the other side of the uh, bedroom, the 20 amp wire. But I thought you'd be interested in uh, seeing that about... Uh, the old school grounding. <clears throat> All right, guys. One o'clock at the afternoon. One o'clock in the afternoon, and we are just chooching along. Good. Happy birthday, Rosie. So we've got the. Uh, we've now completed the uh, west wall here. We uh, did the uh, south wall and the east wall, and uh, probably next weekend we'll be removing the tub and the surround, and then we'll really have a better idea 
about the uh, plumbing here and whether we need to move any uh, fixturing and things because we want this to be uh, comfortable over here. And remember, we also have the thing that might just make it up there with that uh, vent if we had to put a full full wall that came out to about here uh, on it there. But we got time to work out those considerations. So. Oh, uh, last thing I got to do is just knock off the little bits on the wall over here and um, basically we're going to be in good shape today and then do a lot of really rigorous cleanup and then take it easy the rest of the afternoon because Bobby will be coming over and we'll be uh, we'll be going out and we'll be having a uh, <coughs> chooching around with the uh, new fire pit and all that so all right I'm going to get cracking on the uh, next wall here good news all the uh, all the uh, walls have been demoed now, and I'll tell you, I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? It's been a hell of a day. I mean, we uh, worked our asses off here today, and uh, probably Wednesday we'll address all the uh, little fine nails got to be pulled off and all that. But this is going to give us a few days. Tomorrow I might do a few other things around the uh, ranch here, but this will give you and me a chance to... Uh, you know, discuss a couple things about what how we might like stuff to be here. And uh, you getting excited about tonight? We're going out to the uh, Occidental and have a good time. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do some fine cleanup here. Jennifer's been kind enough all day to be uh, cleaning up after the chooch here today. So I got the big shop back and I did get some crap down the drain. So I need to clear that out a bit too. So righto? Righto. do a uh, remodel you got a demo and you wouldn't think a little bathroom like that would uh, generate a ton of crap but there it is there's today's what we uh, what we hauled out of there with the uh, wheelbarrow so yep all that wood all that stuff can go off to the uh, dump or gradually be uh, thrown away in the uh, trash cans but that would take a long time take everything and dump we also got a tub to uh, get rid of too so Let's go inside and uh, finish cleaning up today. Go ahead. Mopping up. You're on cleanup. You've been on fire duty all day today, cleaning up this uh, stuff, and I appreciate that very much. The unsung yeah. hero of today's operation. You're looking at her there. Now we got to go feed you tonight, right? For all that you did today. Happy birthday, Rosie. Huh? You're gonna have a good night tonight. So. Well, this is our wrap-up for uh, day two, which is really day one of the uh, heavy demolition. We got accomplished everything that we wanted to do today. We had a few uh, surprises, being the uh, total extent of the built-in over here, but that's going to now work in our favor because I'm now thinking this will be very nice built-in storage here and uh, places to keep makeups and things uh, here, and then we can use that door down at the end of the hall, of course, to uh, to make a linen closet down there. So everything should all work out really, really good. Big issue will be removing the tub. The surrounds are going to be easy. That tub is uh, cast iron, so I'm hoping it'll be something can it just be broken up with a um, you know with a sledge. We shall see. Might have to call in the heavy artillery on that, but all in all, I've rated a very good, uh, very good day. We do have our new skylight in the bathroom up there, looking right up into the uh, attic. So we want to get that closed. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do a little carpentry over here to uh, close that in, because of course the stud wall is gonna go across there once we uh, we um, you know determine what we're gonna do over here. So thanks for being with me on big demo day for the uh, renovating the bathroom uh, casa. Yeah, it's my birthday, but work goes on. 
So we're going to get uh, cleaned up, finish cleaning up, and enjoy the rest of our uh, Saturday. Give us time to think and uh, discuss stuff that we want to do. Thanks so much for being here on Big Demo Day.